shall sun that tomorrow see. is here in double trust. First, as I am his kinsman and subject, strong both against the deed. 
then as his host, who should against the murderer shut the door, not bear the knife myself. Hath he asked for me? Know you not he has? We will proceed no further in this business. Art thou afeard to be the same in thy own act and valor as thou art in desire? I dare do all that may become a man. When you durst do it, then you were a man. And to be more than what you were, you would be so much more the man. I have given suck, and to know how tender it is to love the babe that melts me. I would, while it was smiling in my face, have plucked my nibble from his boneless gums and dashed the brains out, had I so sworn as you have done to this. If we fail. We fail, but screw your courage to the sticking place, and will not fail. shall be esteemed, when in swinish sleep their drenched natures lie in their death. What cannot you and I perform upon the unguarded stage? Will it not be received when we have marked with blood the sleepy two of his own chamber with their very daggers? They have done it. Who dares receive it other, as we shall make our griefs and clamor roar? On his death. Have settled and bend up, each corporal agent to this terrible feat. Away. Mock the time with fairest show. False face the tide with false heart doth know. Merciful powers, restrain in me the cursed thoughts that nature gives way to in her foes. Who's there? A friend. A friend. What, sir, not yet addressed? The king's abed. He hath been an unusual pleasure and sent great largesse to your offices. All's well? Sir, his husband could be in heaven. Their candles are all out. I dreamt last night of the three weird sisters. Think not of them. Were such things here, or have we eaten off the insane root that takes the reason prisoner? When we can entreat an hour to serve, we would spend it in some words upon this business, if you'd grant the time. At your kindest leisure? We'd repose the while. Thanks, sir. The light's to you. seems dead, and wicked dreams abuse the curtain sleep. It is the dagger which I see before me, handle toward my end. Come, let me clutch thee. have made fools of the other senses. I see thee still, and on thy blade and dudgeon gouts of blood as was not so before. It is this bloody business which informs thus to mine eyes. 
thou sure and firm set earth, hear not my steps which way they walk, for fear that thy very stones prate of my whereabout. I see thee still, in form as palpable as that which now I draw. I go and it is done. The bell invites me. Hear it not, my king, for it is a knell which summons thee to heaven. Or to hell! Alack, I am afraid they have awaked and tis not done. The attempt and not the deed confounds us. Fill all brave Neptune's oceans, wash this blood clean from my hand! My hand, rather than multitudinous seas and carnadine, making the green and red. Why did you bring the daggers from the place? They must lie there. Go. I am afraid to think of what I have done. To look on again, I dare not. Infirm of purpose, give me the daggers. Childhood that feared the painted devil. I'll deal the faces of the grooms withal, for it must seem their guilt. One friend, God bless us. Love and amen the other. As, God as they did see me with these the hangman's hands. Macbeth shall Listening their fear, I could not say amen when they did say, God bless us. Wherefore could I not pronounce amen? My hands are of your color, but I shame to wear a heart so white. Retire we to our chamber. A little water clears us of this deed. Think of my deeds were best not for myself. Murder. The spring, the heads of fountain of your blood is 
saw. By whom? Those this chamber has seemed to done it. Their hands and faces were all bad from blood. So were their daggers. Oh, yet I do repent me of my fury that I did kill them. Wherefore did you so? Here lay the king. There the murderers, steeped in the color of their trade. Their daggers unmannerly breached with gore. Who could refrain that had a heart to love? Oh, help me hence. Look to the lady. Let us meet and question this most bloody piece of work to know it further. His children shall be kings, the seed of Banquo kings. Let's briefly put on manly readiness and meet in the hall together. My tears are not yet brewed. To show an unfelt sorrow is an office which the false man does easy. Murder a shaft that shot hath not yet lighted, and my safest way is to avoid the aim. I'll to England. Where I now am, there's daggers in men's smiles. Who did this more the bloody deed? What was that Macbeth has slain? Alas, the day. What good did they pretend? They were suborned. Malcolm, the king's son, is stolen away and fled, which puts upon him suspicion of the deed. Tis most like the sovereignty will fall upon Macbeth. It's already named. And gone to Scone to be invested. Will you to Scone? No. My next all to England. Well done there.
scorpions is my mind, dear wife. Thou knowest that Cleos, Mango's son, lived. He discussed the snake, not killed it. Sneak over your rugged looks. Be bright and jovial among your guests tonight. Now, good digestion, weight on appetite, and health on both. Which of you has done this? What is that move, your, mind, your majesty? What my good lord? Never shake thy gory locks at me. I am not well. Pray you, keep feet. The fit is momentary. Are you a man? I and a bold one that dare look on that which might appall the devil. Oh, proper stuff, this is the very painting of your fear. This is the heir's wrong dagger which you said led you to the king. Time to give you when the brains were out, the man would die, and there an end. But now, they rise again. Fie! For shame, you look but on a stool. Avant, and quit my sight! That's horrible shadow! No real mockery yet! Pray you, sit still! You have displaced the mirth, broke the good meaning! You make me strange. When now I think that you can behold such sights and keep the natural ruby of your cheeks when mine is blanched with fear. What sights, my lord? What sights, my oh, lord? Pray you speak not, he grows worse and worse. Question and raise him at once. Hello. Good Hello. night. Toil and trouble. Better have it done, my majesty. Burn and a cauldron like trouble. trouble. Double, double, toil and there trouble. There will be one that said! Fire burn and cauldron trouble. 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 Fire I wait no more returning to him as tedious as going o'er. Strange things I have in head that will to hand which must be acted and they be scanned. Round about the cauldron go, in the poison's entrails throw, toad that under cold stone. Days and nights have thirty-one, sweltered venom sleeping dot, boil thee first in the charmed pot. By the pricking of my thumb, something wicked this way comes. How oh, now, you secret black and midnight hags? What is you do? A deed without a name. I conjure you by that which you profess. How e'er you come to know it, answer me. Go you untie the winds, answer me to what I ask you. Speak, demand, will answer. Call. Let me see. Macbeth. 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 Beware himself, beware the stain of fight. Seize upon fight and give to the edge of the sword his wife, his 
babes and all unfortunate souls that traced him in his line. Where are they? Gone? Infected be the air whereon they ride. who trust them. Stan Charlton, where it did? Alas, poor country. Almost afraid to know itself. It shall be called our mother, but our brave. Gracious England hath lent us a good ten thousand men. No better army does Christendom gives out. Would I could answer this comfort with the like, but I have words that would be howled out in the desert air where hearing should not lash them. What concern, nay? Let not your ears despise my tongue forever. I shall possess them with the heaviest sound that ever yet they heard. Keep it not from me. Quickly, let me have it. Whispers your fraught heart and bids it break. My children, too. Wife, children, servants, all that could be found. My wife killed, too. I have said. He has no children. All oh, my pretty one. shaking, and the powers above put on their instruments. Receive what cheer you may. The night is long, which never finds the day. Here she comes. 
Home by light, fast asleep. Observe her, stand close. Tyrant keeps still in Dunsinane. 
Those he commands move only in command. Nothing in love. None serve with him but constrained things whose hearts are absent too. Now does he feel his title hang loose about him like a giant's robe upon a dwarfish thief. Tie me to a stake. I cannot fly, but bear like I must fight the course. It's he who is not born a woman. Such a one am I to fear? Or none. Come to Dunsinane, and thou opposed being of no woman born, I will try the last. Lay on, Macduff. And damned be he who first cry hold, Enough! Yeah. 
devil 